Uh, all right. So essentially, if you're unfamiliar with Git Sync or what Gitbook allows you to do with our integration with GitHub and GitLab, uh, you're able to sync a fully uh, a fully working doc site that you create on Gitbook with a repository that you have hosted on GitHub or GitLab. We're going to just focus on the GitHub side of things because I know that's what Mike and Modern are using. So it'll make a little bit more sense in the overview on how the uh, CI CD workflows are kind of working uh, afterwards. But essentially, what we are going to start by doing is create a new uh, a new doc site that we we can publish. Uh, uh, you might have seen some of this stuff. This is from last uh, the last webinar we did. But what I'm going to do is start by saying something like my new site. We don't have any content right now. We're going to start from a blank canvas. Uh, we are going to do the uh, GitHub import, which it says right here. Uh, but we'll just go to the new step. Uh, and then what we'll also do is publish this later and create the new site. So we have all the details here. I'm also going to give a quick overview of the new site creation because we've just launched this kind of recently. This new site that we have called My New Site, this is our dashboard for creating uh, this, the site itself. So we can do things like give it uh, a name. We can enable things like visitor authentication. We can change the, the audience. And we can also, most importantly, publish this to the web. Uh, so let's just keep the name as is. Uh, and we'll publish this to the web. By default, it's going to be visible to everyone. We can also do things like customize it, add custom domains, and a lot more. Uh, but just for the purposes that we have right here, uh, we have it going. And I'll also just post this in the chat. If you are interested, you can follow along and just see how this kind of turns out throughout the rest of the webinar. You'll also see, though, that as I created this new doc site called my new site, it also created a new space for me down here called my new site. Um, it's linked underneath the content section by default here. Also clicking this little subheader underneath the new doc site will, will bring you to that content. If you want to be a little bit more explicit, uh, you can name it whatever you'd like. Sometimes you might have more than one kind of content link to a site. So being a little bit more descriptive might be uh, might be good in this case. So we'll just say something like uh, content. Now, what I want to do is I don't necessarily want to, uh, I don't want to import, or excuse me, I don't want to write any of the content inside of Gitbook because what I actually have is a full repository uh, of just markdown files that I want to use inside of here. Um, if we take a look through some of these folders, these are just some folders that nest some uh, some markdown files. We do have a Gitbook folder with a couple different assets, but you'll see, for instance, in the README, this is just the main welcome page that the, the first page that you'll see when you create a new website uh, in Gitbook. But in some of the in some of some of the um, the head matter up here, you'll also see that we have like the cover, which is referencing this Gitbook folder and the assets, uh, the position, which is just something if you want to adjust the position, but that's good for now at the at this. And again, just, just some plain markdown that we have here. Uh, I don't have this synced up to a GitHub repository, but I do have one ready to go. So what I'm going to do is start by initializing a Git repository. I'm going to also add the remote origin, just like this. I'm going to add everything. And just to keep it simple, I'm going to uh, just do initial commit. And I'm just going to push all of this up to the, uh, the repository that we have. And after just a few seconds, we should now see it inside of here. So now I have all of the markdown files that I have inside of uh, GitHub. And now that we have it on GitHub, and also the, the steps that I've just shown right now, if you already have uh, a repository filled with content, you don't have to do any of this. You can already import this. Um, because now that we have this uh, repository with a couple markdown files inside of it, I can sync it with Git, uh, Git book. What we're going to do is head first, let me actually point this out, from whatever space that you want to sync your content from, in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a little configure button. And this is going to bring you to the uh, Git sync category. We're obviously going to use the GitHub sync for this one. And we're going to enable it for the new content. 
Now we do have to enable it for a few more things here. So we have the my new site content, which is right here. Let's configure it. And we'll then go to uh, basically authenticate your user account so we can have everything uh, hooked up and good to go. So just gonna authorize this first. This will reload it. I have this on my personal account, so I'll select this. The repository we have is webinar headquarters, so let's look for that. And it's right here. And we do wanna select the main branch. You might be asked to create a new one if you are going through this with uh, a, a new repository or if you want to direct it to a specific one. I will mention that this can be useful if you do want to push things to like a staging branch, if you are working on like a larger product and you only want your docs to deploy on like a staging version or a specific version, you can select whatever branch you want because this is gonna determine at when, your, uh, when your docs publish. So anytime commits are merged into the main branch of this GitHub repository, it's going to deploy a new uh, website. And we can take a look at some of this uh, a little bit later or see uh, how that works when uh, Mike goes through some of his uh, demo as well. If you also have it inside of a mono repo, if you are working with your docs inside of a, uh, a larger repository, you can point it. This might say something like slash docs, or something like that. But in our case, it's just the full repository. And if you want to be a little bit more explicit with your uh, messages as you uh, push your changes to GitHub, you can use things like a custom template or get uh, pull request previews on specific forks. Uh, but we're gonna skip all this. This is also probably a little bit more specific and more useful if you're working on like a larger project uh, or your docs are living within a repository of a larger project. This is also something pretty important if you haven't set up Git Sync before, but because you need to sync your, uh, your content from one place to another, you need to make sure that you choose the right option here. And because we have our content in GitHub already, we're gonna choose the first one. After you click the sync button, it's gonna go through and sync them. Uh, and that's the also cool part is it's not just a one-time import, it actually will sync everything together. So if we make changes on the Gitbook side of things, uh, it'll end up in GitHub and vice versa. If we make a change on GitHub, uh, it'll end up uh, there as well. So now we have a nice looking, uh, nice and beautiful looking docs right here. Um, and if we want to make any changes here, what we can do is just on the GitHub side of things, we can open up a new change request to make some edits. Um, and we'll just do something like, We'll add some small stuff. Um, continue reading to learn more about our product. And we'll merge those in. You can also take a preview with them, uh, but we'll just merge them in right away. Now, after things are merged inside of Git book, you'll see every once in a while, and this should trigger in just a moment, that this will start to resync, and we'll see that the uh, the new changes that we made will appear inside of here. So this is just the first commit that I had at first, but now that it's synced, we should see the GitHub uh, Git book bot add a new commit here. And you'll also see some of these new changes already inside of our readme, which is super exciting. The other thing as well is if we go here, we should see the changes right off the bat. We see the, the explanation point and we see the uh, updates here. Now, this is a really easy way to get up and running. Again, if you have your docs already situated somewhere, uh, or if you are using a different documentation tool and want to import them, most of the time you can get them out in some sort of markdown format. And if you already have them hosted on a repository, you should just be able to import them directly uh, and see how things are working here.